Okay, this was the problem I actually left with you to see if you could actually figure out maybe how to calculate I2 and then once you've got I2 you could find I1. All right, well let's see if we can actually work this together at least as far as calculating I2 is concerned. Now we got this far and so we've got really I1 is equal to this expression over here and that was based on working with the I2 mesh current equation here. So what we want to do now is we really want to take this expression for I1 and we want to substitute it into the first mesh equation at the top over here. So that's the substitution we're going to make. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So what do we have here? We have, um, we have a 20 and that's going to be equal to, it's going to be equal to I1. All right, so all of this is I1. So let's put a bracket here. What we have is three angle minus 90 plus the I2 uh, 1.118 angle minus 26.57 close the bracket that is I1 isn't it and I1 is multiplied by 18 at an angle of 56.3 and then of course that's a minus I2 times 10 all right so we've now got basically everything in this equation really in terms of I2. And that's what we're going to try and solve for is really I2. Okay, so let's go ahead and maybe multiply this out, get rid of this bracket over here. So what do we have? We have a 20, and that's going to be equal to, so this would be what? Multiplying out, that's a three, angle minus 90, and that's going to be multiplied by what? 18, that's this term here, angle 56, whoops, 56.3, all right, that's that, and then we've got what? We've got this multiplied by this, so that's a plus I2, and that's what? 1.118 angle minus 26.57, and that is multiplied by this 18 at an angle of 56.3. And then I've got this last term here, which is a minus I2 times 10. All right. Let's see if we can perform that multiplication, okay? So we've got 3 times 8, and we've got the angles to deal with. This is in polar form, which is good. Uh, this is in polar form, which is good. We can deal with this uh, very quickly here. So what do we have here? We have 20, and that is equal to multiplying this out. What do we have? We have a 54, and my angle here is going to be, I've got a minus 90, I've got a plus 56.3, which leaves me a minus 33.7. All right, that's dealt with that. What else have I got? I've got a plus, I've got the I2, and just multiplying this out, what do I get? So that's 1.118 multiplied by 18. That gives me a 20.124, uh, bit of rounding still there. And my angle here is I've got basically a minus 26.57 plus a 56.3, which gives me an angle of 29.73. And I've got my last term here, which is a minus I2 times 10. Okay, so what do I want to do now? Well, I'm trying to collect my I2s together, okay? So I'm going to take this guy over to the other side. If I do that, I've got 20. That's a minus 54 at an angle of minus 33.7. And that is equal to, <clears throat> what do I have over here then? I have I2, let me see if I can factor out the I2. And um, uh, let's put a bracket over here. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can factor this out, putting a bracket over here. Well, this really needs to be, because there's a bit of addition going on here, this really needs to be what? It needs to be converted basically to a rectangular form. So I'll let you go ahead and just confirm what I'm about to say here. But converting this to rectangular, I get a 17.48. And then I've got a plus a J, uh, and that's a 9.98. 
And then of course I've got my minus 10 sitting over here, close the bracket. So what I'd like you to do then is just confirm I'm right there in converting this little bit here to its rectangular form being this over here. Okay, going a little bit further then, because I've got a, a subtraction going on here, I need to convert this also to its rectangular form. So if I do that, I've got a 20, um, and that's going to be a minus. I'll open up a bracket here. So converting this, again, please check this for me. That's going to be a 44.93, and that's a minus J, and that's a 29.96, and that is equal to my I2. And if I collect my terms together here, what do I have? Well, the real bit here, I've got a 17.48 and a minus 10, so I'll take the minus 10 off of that. That leaves a 7.48. And then I've got a plus J, 9.98. All right, so we're getting closer now. Uh, better close the bracket over here as well, okay? So I just need to work on this little bit over here. We're very close to getting this I2. All right, I'm in a position to deal with this. I'm gonna add the real bits together over here. So I've got a 20 minus that amount over there. So we can just write that down as what? That would be a minus 24.93. Um, then a minus times a minus, of course, would be a plus. That's a plus J. That's a 29.96. And that's equal to what we have over here, which is that I2. And that's a 7.48 plus the J, 9.98. Okay, now look, I'm going to put a bracket around this and actually I'm going to take the minus sign out, all right? So a slight change of mind here, but I'm going to take that minus sign out and that's going to leave me with what inside the bracket, 24.93. And then uh, I need a minus sign there, minus times a minus gives me the plus, so it's a minus J, 29.96, and that is equal to this I2, and that's 7.48 plus the J, 9.98, closing the bracket. All right, so I'm really very close now, aren't I? I2 then is equal to this term here, I'll put a minus there. So it's this term here, which is the 24.93, minus the J, 29.96, close the bracket. That's divided by this term here, which is the 7.48, plus the J, 9.98 closing the bracket. So if I now want to express this really in its polar form, I need to do that, polar for this, polar for this. I can then perform the division, deal with the angles. So this in polar form is minus sitting here, converting this to polar. Again, please check, that's a 38.976. And my angle here is a minus 50.24. And that's divided by, into polar for this, that's a 12.47. And my angle here is a 53.148. Okay, so now we can perform this uh, division and we get a minus 3.125. And my angle here is a minus 103. 0.38 and that is equal to I2. All right, now you could go on and you could say I've got I2, I could go ahead and see if I can find I1 and then I could find voltages, etc. But look, I wanted to actually take you through this calculation. It is a little bit of work, um, but it's not that difficult really, just a little bit time taking and I hope this helps. So, good luck with all of this and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.